Every day, the Earth receives visitors from outer space. Tons of space dust that mostly goes unnoticed. But sometimes larger objects can be seen streaking across the night sky. They are meteors. Only a few of these shooting stars survive the fiery descent through the atmosphere. For having withstood their ordeal, they are much reduced in size and given a new name, meteorites. Most of them are never found, but in 1954, one meteorite made its presence known in an extraordinary way. It happened in a small Alabama town where Ann Hodges was taking an afternoon nap on her couch when she was awakened by a sharp pain on her left side. A meteorite had crashed through the roof, striking her. It is the only verified account of a meteorite ever hitting a person. Of course, bigger rocks have fallen out of the sky. 50,000 years ago, a 50-yard wide asteroid crashed into the ground and was vaporized in what is today the state of Arizona. All that was left was this 600-foot deep hole, the best preserved asteroid crater on Earth. And there's what happened to the dinosaurs 65 million years ago. That catastrophe not only wiped out the dinosaurs, but three quarters of all of the then existing animal, marine, and plant species. Keeping track of asteroids and comets is a serious business. And it's an important aspect of the work the Jet Propulsion Laboratory performs as part of NASA's larger effort to protect our planet from cosmic marauders. As the saying goes, the dinosaurs didn't have a space agency. Roger, on my mark. Three, two, one, mark. Fortunately, we do. Join the hunt for space rocks 